So I left out first thing this morning and of course I forgot my camera and we ran a bunch of errands. Kaylee had her two year well check this morning and everything looked great. She is on track to be a very tall girl. I think she's gonna be about 5'9". Uh, she's in the 95th percentile for height. So, um, and then we went and ate lunch as a family and then we ran by Target and got a few things. I still have a ton of groceries to get, but I just grabbed a few things from Target. I'll show you a little haul. First of all, I got a big tub because I'm cleaning out Kaylee's toys before Christmas. Um, gotta make room for all the new ones. I got some paper that she would like. Maybe, maybe Santa will use that paper. What else? Um, a bunch of snacks for her, not really exciting. More snacks. More snacks. Okay, well, I got her a lot of snacks. Obviously. Let's see. <laughs> Baby wipes, wet wipes, lotion. Oh my gosh, she's been so itchy. Her skin has been so dry. Oh my goodness, more snacks and juice boxes. Um, I got her the story of Christmas. It looked like a good one. Slowly building her collection of Christmas books. Okay, the only two little interesting things. I got me a little black bralette that has um, something cute in the back because I have this low backed sweater. Um, I need some like cute little lace bralette to show in the back. And these. How cute are these gold measuring spoons? I actually have the um, measuring cups that match. These gold ones right here. So I was excited to get the little teaspoons that matched as well. Uh, we just needed to get out of the house and kill some time. Now it's almost her nap time. And it's just so cold outside here that we can't go outside and play. She's been playing in the house for days now. So we needed to get out of the house. Show you a little outfit of the day. I have on a um, turtleneck poncho. It's like a olive green color and then a striped t-shirt underneath. And then I just wore jeans and little black booties. But I actually saw this picture um, on my time hop of me wearing this poncho last year. And I was like, oh, that's cute. I was like, I've got to go find that. It was in a different area. It wasn't in my closet. So <laughs> I went and found it and wore it today. We're having leftover chicken spaghetti for dinner. Just me and this one, because daddy's at a meeting and listening to Christmas music. Celine Dion Christmas CD is my absolute favorite. Oh, and this one's too. I've never watched Prep and Landing before, but it is the cutest little Christmas movie. I love it now. It's time for a new rug. <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch in our dining room since Greg had to move all the furniture and roll up our rug. So let me just explain to you the dilemma I had with my old rug. The old rug was actually a shag carpet rug and my vacuum cleaner is like the house system that goes through the house and into the canister in the garage. And so it has a beater bar, but you can't raise it. And for shag carpeting, you have to raise the beater bar as high as you can, or else it'll tangle in all the fibers. Um, so I bought a special shag carpet attachment. It's just a long bar with teeth in it to help fluff up the shag. But the hole where it actually vacuums is like this big. So you have to like meticulously like go over section by section, just like a half an inch at a time to vacuum the rug and I still feel like it wasn't getting very clean because it wasn't, you know, it was just air coming up. It wasn't like really beating it and, and getting the dirt out. So Kaylee plays on that rug all the time. I just felt like it was so filthy and I was like, okay, I'll just have it cleaned professionally once a year. Well, I called to have it cleaned right before Christmas and it was $350 to have it cleaned. And I was like, that that's how much I paid for the rug. I'm not gonna pay $350 every single year to have it cleaned. And on top of that, you don't even have it in your house for a week. 
you uh, they come and pick it up and have it dry and then bring it back to you. So I was like, heck, that's pretty much what I paid for the old rug because I got a really good deal because um, it's a nine by 12 rug for $350. That's excellent if you've ever shopped for rugs. But I buy so much stuff on Wayfair. I knew that I could find a good deal and decided to get a, a very low pile rug that I could actually vacuum and shampoo myself for the same amount of money as it would cost me to have it cleaned one time. So I ordered a rug on Wayfair and we've actually had it in for a long time now. We've just been busy and it's been in the garage. So Greg is getting it out right now. There's balloons everywhere. I'll be so glad to get rid of all these balloons. I know she's having so much fun though. So <clears throat> it makes me not want to get rid of them, but I will definitely, they'll be gone before Christmas gets here because with the paper that'll be everywhere and the boxes and the toys, we can't have balloons too. I just, it's driving me crazy as it is right now. I actually haven't seen the rug yet. I really hope I like it. We'll see it in just a second. It's lighter colored than I thought it would be, which scares me. But it's also has a pretty busy pattern, so hopefully that will hide some dirt or stain. It's pretty though. It's supposed to be gray and ivory. This gray is definitely has a blue tint to it, but so does the gray on my walls. It, and I'm sure in my vlogs, it definitely looks blue. But I'm just gonna save money because I can vacuum this one really well, and if I needed to shampoo it, I can. And I can do it myself without having to take it to a professional. We're trying to get it straight and find something heavy enough to lay down on the corners because they're rolling up. I guess she's breaking it in. Good. What are you doing? Are you breaking in the new rug? Is it to your satisfaction? The softness, thickness, quality? So because I'm so impatient, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the little surprise that I told you about yesterday. I am gonna have my first ever small giveaway for my Vlogmas supporters. Thank y'all so much who have followed me um, through the month of December and watched Vlogmas uh, because I want to give it to somebody who's actually supported uh, Vlogmas and watched my channel. I am not putting giveaway anywhere in the title or in the tags. I want to give it to somebody who actually watches the videos. Um, I know that if you've made it to uh, day 19 you've been watching vlogmas and if you make it to the end of this video then I know that you also watch my videos so even if you've never left a comment before um, if you're a silent supporter I'm gonna know that if you enter this contest that you have been watching because no nope, just anybody would watch a random day 19 vlogmas and make it to the end anyway so the rules to enter are just give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment and that's pretty much it be sure you're a subscriber as well but i figure you probably are if you're following my vlogmas but um like i said it's a small giveaway it's um all deluxe samples but i'm going to show you now everything that will be included i almost forgot to say you have wednesday until 11 o'clock at night to enter that would give you all day tuesday to watch this video and all day wednesday in case you know I know people are busy and you have to get caught up sometimes so um, the cutoff is 11 p.m. on Wednesday and I will choose someone at random and hopefully get it sent out before Christmas or right after Christmas so you'll get just an extra little Christmas package so I'm just gonna go through everything I'm gonna include this is the milk makeup sunshine oil a face oil the um, beauty blender blotterazzi a Clinique Pep Star. This is a facial cleansing wipe. I've used one of these before. It was really nice. The, the Coors Ageless Saffron Elixir. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Yes, this is from my last box. This is a Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. I thought somebody could get some use out of it uh, because I have some primers already. 
the Origins Energy Boosting Moisturizer, Totally Eye Lifting Balm, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara, First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, the Pharmacy Skin Dew Hydrating Essence Mist and Setting Spray, Clinique Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser, Origins Ginseng Refreshing Face Mask, Benefit Do the Hula, the Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara, the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer, a travel size of the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I also included a brand new full size uh, Benefit Their Real Mascara. The Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. I really like this face oil, it's good. The Aborian Bamboo Skin Reviving Face Gel. Estee Lauder's Enlightened Dark Spot Correcting Night Serum. Glam Glow's Super Cleanse, the Daily Clearing Cleanser. This one is great for oily or acne prone skin. Fresh Sugar Face Polish. A Glam Glow Youth Mud. Um, this is just a sample set of the Glam Glow Flash Mud. It comes with three different treatments, and you're supposed to be able to see a difference in the three treatments. I also really like the Flash Mud. Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel. Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I also really like this one. I have one in my bag. The Eve Lom Cleanser. This is like a cleansing balm. And it comes with a sample of the cleanser with a muslin cloth that you're supposed to use it with. A package of this Shiseido um, Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. A sample of some of Fresh's skincare. Comes with a face cleanser, rose face mask, and the Lotus face cream. And then just a sample of the Dior lip products that I love so much. Um, one sample of the Duratic Lip Maximizer and the Lip Glow. Love both of these. And that's it. I know they're just samples, but I included as many as I could. And I think they're all really good products and good brands. And hopefully somebody will really enjoy all of this. So once again, just thank you so much for watching, for following along, for interacting. It's been so much fun for me. You know, I said in the beginning that I really wasn't going to do this. Um, for anybody but our family because we wanted the memories to look back on and for that I have absolutely loved it. I, I go back and watch like, you know, a few days ago and I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that I have that on video um, to show Kaylee when she's older. But being able to interact with people that follow me is just the absolute best and thank y'all so much for enjoying our vlogs because to me they're completely boring. But I also kind of understand that because I watch a lot of vlogs and I love peering into people's lives. The boring stuff is sometimes the best. So thank you so much for loving our boring life and for watching it. So this is just a little thank you. So go and thumbs up this video and leave me a comment letting me know that you want to enter the giveaway. And I will pick somebody at random on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. And I will... Uh, direct message that person and let you know who won so all right we're gonna call it a night kaylee's already in the bath and i'm just tired that's all there is to it i'm really tired but what i really need to do is clean my room and clear out a space so i can go wrap christmas presents i've been putting off wrapping presents for so long now i really just need to go do it so all right we'll see you tomorrow bye